Mike here on Costa Mesa R&D. Today I have a Volkswagen bug engine that we're just about ready to disassemble. But I wanted to take this opportunity to show you how to adjust the valves on these engines because it's one of the things that's very, very important to do. We'll get started by showing you a few things that you need to understand here. The front pulley here that on this particular motor has graduations as far as the degrees. We need to know where top dead center is because that's an important point for us to adjust our valves. When we set our pointer at uh, TDC, we'll want to look and see which ones of our valves are loose. Well, this you say, well, yeah, we've got to have a little bit of clearance in here. And typically, the clearance on a Volkswagen is about four thousandths with the engine cold. On this engine, on this side, we find that the number one exhaust valve is loose. And around, we find loose, loose, and loose. So what we'll be doing is adjusting these three, the one on the other side. We'll rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees, and then we'll adjust the opposite valves that we didn't adjust this time around, which would be the front one over here and the other three over here. I'm going to show you how that's done. All right, we're going to get started by turning our crankshaft to top dead center, like so. Well, we're going to start by measuring our clearance. And you can see that valve's tight. And this one here feels just fine. There should be just a slight bit of drag in here as you pull the feeler gauge back and forth. Now, you see this one here is really loose. And this one here is actually a little bit tight. Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll make an adjustment on this one here. I have a special tool that I use for doing this. Put our filter gauge in here. Tighten up the screw. Now we'll switch over to the other side and check the last valve, and then we'll move on. Alright, that looks good. I'll right, we'll check this one here. We've already checked these three over here. Let's turn the engine around. We'll check the remaining three on this side. Let's dump this one, this one, and this one here. Feels good. Feels good. And feels good. Anyway, that's how you adjust the valves on a air-cooled VW. Fairly simple, fairly quick. You just have to make sure that you let your engine cool completely down before you do this. Another thing that would be recommended would be to remove the rocker arm assembly, tighten this bottom row of head bolts, and then put your rocker arm assembly back on, torque these down, and then do your valve adjustment. If you have any more questions about VW engine machine work, call John Edwards at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.